Hello friends, I'm Akanksha and today we will learn how to use recurrence and add-on. But let's first understand when to use it. Okay, so whenever you have a Google Sheet, you are making any changes to it, there is any new entry to it and you want all these information to be sent to server for further use, you can use triggerence in. So let's start with adding triggerence in. I'll go to add-ons, click on get add-ons. I will search for trigger and send. Okay, so it's here. I will just click on the plus three button. Hmm, it's asking me for some basic permissions. I allow it. Okay, so here it is. Trigger and send add-on was added. Okay, let me first tell you that the first row out here will be the header. Now to use trigger and send, let's go to add-ons, let's go to trigger and send, configure. Okay, what next? I will change trigger data to on even change. What this will do is, if there is any sort of change in your Excel sheet, it can be triggered using a webhook URL. This can be your own hosted URL or you can get it from socket. For this video, I will be using socket URL. I will go to socket, I will copy the URL just paste it here I'll just click on the create change event okay so my event was created successfully you can see that the URL is there in the current trigger section as well now let's see the magic let me change this value from indoor to Bhopal I mean to say if you change any row value and now if I go to socket I just refresh it I can see that my affected row came here and the location was updated to Bhopal. Great. So this was just one of the way to use trigger and sin. There are some other ways as well. You can trigger the data now or you can schedule it to specify how many rows have to be sent in how much time or on, on form submission. So that if any kind of Google form submission happens and its entry is made in Excel sheet, that can be triggered. Hope this video made you clear more about trigger and sin. Happy learning.